Assalamu alaikum dear student, how are you? I hope your days are going well, though the situation is not in our favor. We are going through a hard time because of the corona, corona pandemic situation. In this time we have arranged uh, special classes uh, in the medium of online for your convenience so that you can be able to uh, prepare yourself for the upcoming exams. Dear students, uh, now I would like to uh, talk about the session or about the topics that will be uh, taught towards you. We will talk about or discuss about right from so birth today. Uh, this is actually for the students of class 9 and 10. Dear students, in case of right from of births, you have to have some techniques and you should have some knowledge by which you can be able to answer full marks in these topics. At first, let's go to the topics. You will find a box and then below it you will find a paragraph and this para will have 10 blank space on which you have to use the verbs from the boxes in the right forms of verbs. So let's check about the verbs that are given on the board. Here at first you have seen the first is become dear students you have to understand that as we are Bengali nation our mother tongue is Bengali we are not English speaking nation so when you look at the verbs you have to translate it into your mother tongue so that it will be more understandable for you to answer the question at first there is verb become. Do you know what is the meaning of become? Become means to be. That means in Bangla, hoa. Then comes the verb effect. Effect means akranto hoa. Find khoja. Discover abishkar kora. Take newa. Enlarge that means to make bigger. Boro kora. Originate. Originate means to sprout or to be born. That means utputi kora. Then comes cause. Cause means to be the reason of happenings. That means karon. Karon hawa. Appear. Appear means mukumuke wa to face. Or you can say abir buto hawa. Evolve. Evolve means you can say this is the synonyms of originate. Evolve means bibortit hawa. Alarm. Alarm means to work. Shotorko kora. Okay. Dear student, let's go through the paragraph. Recently, the word corona has dash a buzzword in the entire world. Dear students, you see the sentence is in present perfect tense and this sentence as this sentence is built on the structure of present perfect tense, you have to identify and identify it at first. You see, recently the word corona has, then you have to select the verb, what type, what type of verb and what verb will be used in this gap. So we can use here become, has become a buzzword in the entire world. That would be appropriate. Then it is actually a type of virus. It is actually a type of virus. It was dashed in the town named Wuhan in China. You know, uh, coronavirus has taken its roots from the town Wuhan in China and from where the virus has been spread out all over the world. 
So it was dash in the town named Wuhan in China. That means you will have to use here originated because this sentence is past indefinite tense and it is in passive form. Every nation is being dashed by it. Every nation is being dashed by it. That means every nation is being what will be here? Affected. Here comes the verb. Affected. Affected is the past form, past participle form of its base form. And this sentence is of present continuous tense and it is in passive form. And for that, you have to use here the verb which will be in its past participle form. Then comes as it dash a contagious disease. Do you know what is the meaning of contagious? Contagious means a type of disease which spreads out or scatters through human touch. So, here will be as it causes. Where is it? Here. Causes. Cause means to be the reason of happenings. So, causes. You know, do you know uh, why the S will be added to cause? Because it is a third person singular number. And as it is a present perfect tense, a present indefinite tense, so you have to add S with the main verb. That will be causes. A contagious disease. It dash as a global threat to human existence. So, it dash as a global threat. It appears. It appears as a global threat to the human existence. This is also at a sentence of present indefinite tense and with I forgot to write. It appears. It appears as a global threat to human existence. Though the scientist cannot dash the exact reason of dash corona virus. So, though the scientist cannot find the exact reason of Evolving coronavirus, they are toiling day and night to discover a safer way of its remedy. So, do you know why here is the present form of the verb find? It is because before the verb, there is cannot. You know, can is a model auxiliary. And after every model auxiliary verb, Either it is positive or in negative form. That means it can or cannot, it will or will not, it uh, may or may not. You have to use the verb in its present form. That means base form. The exact reason of evolving. We know here evolving uh, has been used because of the preposition of. You know, after preposition, if any verb is used after preposition, it you will you will have to add ing with the base form of the verb. Then comes discover. Here before the verb we see there is uh, two. This two is infinitive two, and you know this verb is called infinitive verb. You know uh, if any verb. Uh, if any verb is used before to, the verb will be in its base form. Except some rules like with a view to, look forward to, get used to, etc. A safer way of its remedy. People are continually being alarmed. Being alarmed. This is also 
a present continuous tense sentence with in its passive form of its devastating effects on human health by the government many students have been, have already been many steps have already been taken here the word taken used because this is the sentence of present perfect tense and it is in its passive form to help the needy people survive so dear students uh, you have already understood that uh, you have to toil a lot if you want to make a good marks in this chapter. So, uh, with this explanation, I would like to give you some suggestions that how you will be dexterous in right from some verbs. At first, I would like to I would like to uh, give you some suggestions. At first. Read the para twice or more. You know, dear students, when the question paper is given to you and when you go through the right terms of verbs, if you read the paragraph for the first time, it will be more complex. It will be more complex to you. You will see something complex. You will feel some complexity in understanding it. But after reading twice or thrice, it will be more easier in your eyes. It will be vividly clarified to your rights. So, you have to read it twice or thrice. Then comes the point, you should have the knowledge of the given topics. Dear student, I have already, I have uh, told you earlier in your class that you should build your reading habit. You should read extracurricular uh, text so that your uh, knowledge will be enriched. So, if you know the given topics, you know, uh, this type of paragraph in the right forms of verbs will be given on the given topics, uh, on the common sources. Like it may be informative, it may be, you can say, uh, universal. So, you should, you should uh, build your reading habits. Enrich vocabulary. You should have the ability to understand what has been given in the paragraph and what words mean to what meaning. So, I would highly recommend you that you should enrich your vocabulary. Then comes the point, knowledge of basic grammar. Dear students, English is not only a subject, it is actually a language. And as we are living in a third world country, we have to learn it to shine in our educational career. So, knowledge of basic grammar, like uh, there, is, there are a lot of uh, uh, grammatical points of views. Here, uh, there are, you can say, tenses, voices, model auxiliaries. Everything, and everything is needed to complete your English learning. Then comes the point, focus on the verbs. Dear students, you, it is not necessary to understand the every whole of the paragraph. The whole of the paragraph is not necessary to be understood by you. Because you may have some, uh, you may have some difficulty in understanding what, is being, what, what has been given. But, if you focus on the verse properly and deeply, of course, I think you will have some benefits and you will be able to hold a good marks in this chapter, not only in this chapter, but also the entire chapters of the second part. Then comes the, finally comes the last point, uh, ability to assume or guess. I have strongly recommended you that you should not leave any gaps unanswered. You have to answer. How? By guessing. You know, uh, from your early childhood you are reading English, you are writing English, and from which you are subconsciously aware of the thing that we don't understand. And for this reason, I strongly recommend you that you should 
guess or assume because these boxes because these boxes uh, here is the boxes there are only 12 verbs and 10 have to be used so this limited verbs from this limited verbs you can use by guessing so that's all dear students uh, I hope that you are enjoying my class you have enjoyed my class so uh, that's all still then Allah Hafiz